Global Population and Carrying Capacity. In this video, we'll take a look at global population trends and ask the question, can the Earth support life for the anticipated population? And finally, what are the assumptions within these estimates? This picture gives a snapshot of how the global population has been changing throughout recent history. It also shows how it is predicted to change in the coming years. Note that the graph is a model based on the mathematical population trends and assumptions that these will continue. What does the income distribution look like for this global population? Well, this income pyramid based on the work of Prahalad shows that there are 4 billion people at the base of the pyramid that are in what would be considered a survival market in terms of 2005 US dollars purchasing power parity they make less than $3,300 a year the mature markets where people make more than $20,000 a year in purchasing parity is at the top of the pyramid there's only about 0.5 billion people in that market and in the middle is the emerging market so what this pyramid demonstrates is that the vast majority of people on the planet are in what would be considered a survival market making less than ten dollars a day this graph is showing that we've reached a point globally where urban populations in the world are now greater than rural populations. In addition, the population growth expected in this century is expected to take place in urban environments. How does living in an urban setting or a rural setting really influence the system, and why? Let's take a look at this through examining the term carrying capacity. Recall that the Earth is a closed thermodynamic system. And what this means is that we can exchange energy with the surroundings, but we can't exchange matter. The consequence of the Earth being essentially a closed thermodynamic system is that all that is needed for life must be produced on Earth from the things that are already on the Earth. And all that's produced in the form of waste must either be absorbed on Earth or accumulated on Earth. This image represents the idea of carrying capacity, implying that carrying capacity of the earth is a fixed limit the concept of carrying capacity is the ability of an ecological regions biological systems to support the lives of the beings in that region the upper limit comes about because there's an environmental resistance to the things that are growing in a region such as disease predators and limited space and all these things work together to create an upper limit for the number of people that a region can support. Normally, we consider humans as the being whose lives are needed to be supported. So the carrying capacity refers to the ability to grow food, provide water, and absorb wastes produced by human activity. There are a great deal of assumptions hidden in the notion of carrying capacity, but as a concept, it helps us get to a gross approximate understanding of the upper limit to the population in e an ecological region. So the carrying capacity represents the resource production of that region divided by the resource consumption per person. In general, it will be a number, uh, and, it, and it represents the number of people that can be supported. And usually it refers to some sort of time basis. Often t times a year is used as the time basis. One of the questions inherent in this computation is the term resource consumption per person. Is it a fixed value or does it vary? For example, the citizens of China consume a certain amount per person. How does that compare to the citizens of the United States? Is it the case that the US citizens are more alive? If not, then why is their resource consumption higher? This is an important question in the whole notion of sustainability, and it reveals the important trend that the higher the affluence, the higher the resource consumption. But are there alternatives? How can we live together in a way that results in a fair and equitable consumption of resources?
for all the peoples on the planet? This is the central question of sustainability. The global population is expected to approach 9 billion people by the end of the 21st century. Most of this growth will occur in urban areas. Currently, almost two-thirds of the global population inhabits what is called a survival market, living on an income of a few dollars a day. The carrying capacity of the Earth is the limit on the number of people an ecosystem can support. It is a function of how the population behaves, since the ecosystem must support the consumption and absorb the waste. Our grand challenge is to innovate ways that nourish one another and the world in which we live.